Hi, welcome to this mini deep dive series where we will be looking at some Christmas digital products and what I think will be very profitable this holiday season. This is a continuation of a video that I did a few days ago. Uh, seven uh, Christmas digital product ideas and two niches that you should avoid this Christmas. This will be some shorter videos in which we will take a look at some niches. I'm thinking four or five and we will analyze the Etsy platform as it is today before the big holiday rush starts so that we will know what is currently on the platform maybe we can identify some niches where we can add some more products and just in general just to be up to date with what is on the Etsy platform in today's video we are going to do a deep dive into Christmas tags and we will see what is it on uh, Etsy regarding the Etsy tags well I'm thinking printable and editable tags of course and uh, without any further ado, let's check my computer screen and we will talk about Christmas tags. So I just typed in Christmas tag into the Etsy search and let's see what we can find. There are several different styles available, but let's check a few different ones and we can talk about those. So these are some vintage ones. I will open them in a new tab. This is a very cute one. This is very similar to this one, but uh, I will scroll down so that we can find some other ones. I really like these. These are cute too. And... Yeah, let's do this one because they are quite simple. So let's see what did we find. So these are some uh, vintage Christmas tags. I do not like the styles, but I understand that some people quite like it and uh, they can be easily printed at home. Yes, although this is not my style, they look and this design style speaks to a lot of people who are not like me, <laughs> but not everyone is like you. So you have to keep that in mind. Uh, when you are designing any kind of product. Okay, this is a very cute one. I bet that this is a template file, but it looks really cute. Uh, their mockups are really good. Oh, this is a course file, not a template one. But anyways, it is an editable one and it looks really good. They show the cut files as well. I think that this year and uh, in the upcoming years as well, uh, Hand-painted clip art sets will be very popular. Let's take a look at the next one. These are also some vintage ones, but um, with more of a modern twist because I can recognize the clip art set that is used here. Uh, they have a video as well, showing them in real life. They are very cute. These come printed or they are digital. They are digital, but uh, the seller took the time and the energy to print them, cut them out, put the ribbon on and create the video that way. This is a very nice extra that people can make so that, they, uh, so that their listing will stand out. Let's take a look at another one. This is a different style, more of a modern one. The mock-up is modern and minimal and as well. Yes, this is template for sure, this is the cut file, but I really like this one, it, it's a very nice and modern, clean design. The next one, some more creative ones, these are coffee cup uh, shaped, the, I think the idea is genius, they would look very well on any present. Let's see their listing images, they show how they look on the page, yes, they are some very cute designs. I really like these, they are cute. Okay, some more clip art ones I couldn't resist, but I selected this listing because they are offering multiple sizes and multiple shapes. So they have a rectangle one, a square one and a round one. And the mock-up is nice as well. So this is a great example of how you can use the same clipart sets or same clipart elements and create multiple items out of one clipart element. So this is a very good example of that. 
And lastly, I chose this one because they were the simplest of all of them that I could find on the first page. This can be created in less than five minutes, including the listing images. But you can see that there is an opportunity with the Christmas tags, within the Christmas tags niche. Let's check how many items are there in total. So there are almost 200,000 um, items. But if you try to niche down even more within the Christmas tags niche, I think that this is a very good idea to create in late October, early November, so that your items will have time to rank on the Etsy platform. That was it for today's deep dive episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Keep an eye out for the upcoming months. I hope that this week I can put out uh, even more videos. So hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm, consider subscribing to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will never miss another video in which I talk about digital products, making money online and business finance. Also the waitlist link for my course Passive Income with Printables is down in the description box and I will see you in the next one.